All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. FNUSA57 here. Once again, I'm on my Xbox One to bring you yet another video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to master the map Turbine on the Horde Frenzy game mode. So it's only the 12 mode or 12 wave game mode. And currently, shout out to Misfit, Casper, Flash, and playing also with my buddy I haven't played with in a while, Central Dogma. So I appreciate everybody helping us out here. We're going to be using a fairly conventional team comp of a mechanic, demo, anchor, veteran, and pilot. But this map is relatively easy to do. So as long as you have some sort of engineering class, ideally a mechanic. And for this map, I like to have two explosives classes because there's two main avenues of approach. The other classes are personal preference, so you could do like uh, the marksman veteran combo. Um, you could do a nomad or nomad veteran combo. There's a bunch of stuff that you can mess with. It's a lot of fun, actually. The frenzies are nice short games. They're not really terribly bad for getting the master's check mark but they're not the easiest thing to get the master's check mark in however they do have their own separate category for mastering all of the maps technically there's a category for the maps on 1 to 50 the maps on frenzy and that's it we're pretty much going to set up up top here which is basically the exact same strategy used with the uh, 1 to 50 game mode. There's not a lot of different spots that you can set up on this map. And it's the same as always. You go ahead and you get two barriers set up. This is just the best spot that there is on the map, really. So, pretty simple. You can see all the energy tap spawn locations. You put a barrier on the left there. You put a barrier on the right here. here we go. There's a level 4 and level 2 locker. Die, Already in the back for you guys to go ahead and put your explosive weapons on when ready. If you want some free stim, you can always join the veteran and get free stim, because who doesn't love free stim? Of course, as a mechanic, you're not going to really do much with a enforcer, even if that enforcer has aimbot. But it's always kind of fun to play with. Now, I always recommend... This is personal preference, but I always recommend getting rid of your enforcer as a mechanic and eventually swapping that out at your earliest convenience for the really nice Lancer. At which, which point, uh, this is basically just a normal game. If anyone needs to kill themselves in the beginning of the game to go ahead and get additional weapons, try to get that out of the way as quickly as possible. The waves can get rather intense. Tap upgraded. Hey, we got 30 seconds till reinforcements. Sweet. Generally speaking, you can do your perks basically on like wave three or four, uh, depending on how many lockers are needed for the team. This map doesn't require that many fortifications. Yeah, I'll take a frag. Thank you. Extra grenades. Hell yeah. I promise not to do anything too terribly dangerous with them. All right, both lockers are at level four. So, Flash, Dogma, it's up to you how you wish to get the weapons to fill 
those uh, lockers. We're hot. We're hot. <laughs> Misfit just got killed by an invisible grenade. <laughs> that was, um... Oh no, I'm gonna die. I was trying to get past the Juvie, but I was stuck on it. Oh jeez, that's a, um... Ice... Here we go. Oh, I just picked all sorts of a bad spot to be today. No. Crab right. Try to get all the power that you can while it's double stacked, if at all possible. And I always put one point in those perks in the beginning just to make the game go by a little bit easier. The sooner you do your repair perks, the less amount of money you'll spend on repairs. Obviously though, you can follow our setup exactly and still have different results because there is no way to determine for 100% certainty what enemies you're going to get. But if you have a good comp and you have the proper classes, proper skill cards equipped for those classes, you should be fine. There's two level four lockers um, back in the base for you guys. Good to go. You know how to kill yourself super cheap, right, uh, Dogma? Lucky me. Just because that flock is so annoying, I've got an extra level 1 locker in the back here I'll slowly work on that's going to hold the cryo cannon to be safe. Dogma, you should work on getting your locker full of drop shots though, because the drop shot is like the primary weapon for a pilot. The sheer ability to stun enemies with an explosive weapon is just awesome. Here we go. I'm enjoying this I will, of course, have to get a second set of barriers here. I gotcha. So let me go ahead and start working on that. Oh, what the heck? Where did you come from? That's the stuff horror movies are made out of right there. You just casually walk to the fridge for a snack and then what's in your face? A Terminator. It also is worth repairing the energy taps if you're going to be able to fairly confidently keep the energy taps. Because you do get at least 700 energy from a, a base tap, so that helps out quite a bit. Yes! Watch out, Loaded! Take it! Cause here they come! 
Oh, I love it. The artillery shell just targeted me perfectly. You cannot kill me! Manic! Neutralize! Alright, I'm just hanging back here because I don't have the weapons for that right now. Dogma's not uh, using his drop shots at the moment. I guess when all else fails, if you're ever in a situation where you can go ahead and benefit from a veteran's alt, when in doubt, shoot things. And we still have both energy taps. Nice, that was a good boss round right there. points in each of my repair cost and repair speed you can always do one point in fortification damage and one point in fortification health if you have the extra money to do so but those are purely optional I'm using the um, armor plating card so having the extra point in fortification health can be nice you guys are free to perk or do whatever you need to. I keep noticing that Dogma's locker is empty, though. Dogma, are you with us, dude? I think Dogma might have accidentally, like, muted himself or something. A pilot should pretty much always have a locker full of drop shots as soon as possible. Last one's down. Uh, we have none of the energy taps right now. We somehow lost all three of them that wave. Unfortunate. I mean, I'm about to use Dogma's locker for myself if he's not going to use it. I've never run into a situation where a pilot doesn't want a locker full of drop shots, though. So this is a new one to me. Lancer ammo. Barrier repair. Got him. Oh, you guys can go ahead and perk too, by the way. Why not? I mentioned it, but. Weapons locker deployed. All good, thank you. We've got company. I'll eventually get uh, a third layer of barriers out. Enemy 
So I'll just throw my Lancer on the locker for now. Generally speaking, you want to put one explosives class on each side. This way, nothing can sneak up on you. Oh. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put some of these free drop shots on the locker just in case Dogma actually, like, decides to play with them like he's supposed to. I thought there was another drop shot scion around here somewhere. Oh well, I only found one drop shot for free. Time of energy collected. Energy tap upgraded. Good to go. Yes. Oh yeah. Tap spiking damage. Um, <laughs> Flash, the, those are Arid Gale skins? Uh, <laughs> I figured maybe if I was to, you know, put a few weapons of the appropriate type on there, it would help, but that seems to not be the case at the moment. I'll worry about moving that barrier all the way out later. Ooh, free stim. I don't think Dogma can hear us at the moment. just really weird. Dogma was talking on the first couple waves, but then just gone. I haven't seen any extra boom shots, so for the moment I'm just throwing drop shots on that locker. Got a matriarch. Oh yeah, watch and load it. Get me. Pouncer. Tap taking damage. Good to go. Oh, kill me. Tap nearly destroyed. Matriarch's gonna be coming in. Yep. Matriarch's right in front of me. Yep, of course. 
<sighs> I love it. She's stunned and she still rips me in half. Nicely done, Flash. Hmm. Well, Dogma is not listed as connecting in the party, so he's just not paying attention for whatever reason. Uh, let me buy back the stuff, because remember, the engineer does get the discount on it. Ah, we lost the cryo cannon too. Oh well. We have none of the energy taps either. Securing energy tap. Incoming shot. Nice. Weapons locker repaired. Well, anytime you get a matriarch, it's usually an annoying affair, so I would say three barriers isn't the worst fate that we could have had. Especially given the fact that one of our players is just not communicating with us. Alright, there we go. What the hell is Dogma doing now? Good to go. He literally took the level 1 locker that I had made and left in the back for the cryo cannon and brought it out front when there's a level 4 locker out front that already has three drop shots on it. Perfect. I am so confused at the moment. Good to go. Okay, then. This is happening, I guess. <sighs> I just... I... I don't know. I, I just... I don't know right now. I'm gonna chalk this up to technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. Unless I find out differently, this is technical difficulties. You ain't scary. Find left. Here they come. Guardian Mark. I do need to try and find a Lancer. I love having the ability to chainsaw enemies if needed. Yeah, Dogma, take that level 4 locker that I already put. Yeah. Here. Yeah, Dogma, this level 4 with the drops, that's yours. Misfit, I made you uh, a separate locker. It's level two at the moment. Okay, well, three. Which actually, I just lost my Lancer from. Oh, never mind. That's right. I had died. Oh, well. Go! 
Darn it. We gotta get these energy taps. We need some money. Energy collected. Large and recharge. Clean sweep. Oh, goody. Sweet. You always should use your TACCOM. Using your TACCOM is very important. It'll tell you if you have energy taps or not. As a general rule, most of the time you're going to want to save the last enemy. So you can make sure you get all the power, get the energy taps, kill yourself if need be, you know, swap weapons, make upgrades, repairs, all that fun stuff. Got it. Bring it on, motherfuckers! <laughs> Ready to mark! That's a solid. We've got a heavy. Oh hell yeah! I am in the zone. Malfunction. All right, now that we have the base stuff set up. If you want, you can get a sentry gun or something. Sentry gun. They're nice for support. Oh, hell yeah. No one messes with a car mine. Scooping up some energy. Energy tap upgraded. Luckily for us, we are on the last wave here. This is gonna be tough. You ready? So I'll take that. try to have as many energy taps as possible and you're good. I got 20k on me. Energy tap upgrade. Yeah. yeah, you guys are good. Any anything that you have put into perks. This map does not require very many fortifications at all, so we're good as far as that's concerned. Oh, somebody got rid of my salvo. Damn it, I need ammo. Now, depending on the boss that you get, you might wish to buy a cryo cannon or something. You could always build a couple sentries, but that would be personal preference. If you get a bunch of sentinels, though, you might find the cryo cannon to be beneficial to you. You can, of course, also use a cryo cannon against, like, a warden as well. It's not advised to use the cryo cannon against anything that's not a flying enemy because it takes so long to actually freeze them. But the cryo cannon is an excellent weapon against the matriarch and any flying enemies. Plus, it makes really cool lifelike statues. Alright, there we go. I thought the shot grenade might kill him because he was already frozen, but hey, why not? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, remember to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will do my best to help you guys out. As always, though, if you enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor, tap that like button, and of course, subscribe for more content. Until next time, my fellow Gears, keep them Lancers clean, and most importantly, stay frosty.